Mm. <laughs> like and subscribe now. I do. She ran to my house. Quite frankly, my house. My house. What's up, guys? Good afternoon. Today is day five. I day six. Know. Day five. Of what? Fasting. Oh. Yeah, day six. Day six. What's today's day? The seventh. We started fasting on the third. But then it's day four. Day four? <laughs> we started on the third. Anyway, it's day Friday. <laughs> third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So it's day five. It's day five. Um, how's it been so far? Uh, I thought it was going to be tough. I thought, or I honestly thought it was going to be rough. But I, out of the five days so far, I was... It was just one day that was really tough, which was the first day. Yeah. Yeah. We went to one source to stuff. And but how's it? How's the journey been so far, being a Muslim? It's it's kicking in more and more. Uh, I'm learning every day, every day. Even me. Um, I think. Two days ago was a reminder for me. Woke up. Um, this was like uh, something to five, and I'm eating, and so I went to go and make fudu. And just as I'm about to pray, I heard something outside, like at five a.m. in the morning. Thinking, and now, and then I go out. Um, and then I heard somebody scratching in the bin at 5 a.m. in the morning. And he's scratching for food. It was outside of the yard, obviously, because it was burn day. And, uh, and it's raining. And this guy is scratching for food in the bin at 5 a.m. in the morning. And I asked him, like, what the hell? And he said, hey, the earliest bird catches the fettest worm. In his state, in his situation, you know, you can crack a joke like that. And he's like, um, he stands the best chance of getting whatever leftover food that's in the bin at that time of the morning because he knows a lot of people are still sleeping. And it just, it struck me and that was a reminder for me that this is why I'm fasting, you know. I could have been in his position and I must be grateful to God that I'm not in his position and that he may never that I may never find myself in that position, but because I'm in a better position, this is why I'm fasting. I'm fasting for that guy that now scratching in that bin, you know. Um, I'm not gonna say what I did for him because it said that the right hand shouldn't know what the left hand is doing, no? No. Something like that. Uh, you don't even know about that now, no? you're just getting to... Yeah. Yeah, but I just had to bring up this uh, story to kind of answer your question about how has it been being a Muslim. Mm. And I don't think I would have thought of it that way if I wasn't a Muslim. Because I was busy fasting and that happened, mm. I could see why I was fasting. It was a reminder as to why you are fasting, why you are in a yeah. good and, then, and like blessed tonight, position. Like tonight, you will still be able to have something exactly. to eat. Like that you, guy won't. A feast. Yeah. And that is an image that will forever stick with me because it was Allah's way of speaking mm -hmm. to me, you know, to say that you are on the right path. You're doing this for a purpose. You're doing this for a reason. And pa, he showed me the purpose. He showed me the reason. And yeah, and I always say that uh, a lot of people ask, why did you turn Muslim? Why did... I, I can never explain to you 
because you will never understand yeah. we all have our path to walk in this life we all have to experience our own revelation and you explaining it to someone else won't work they won't understand mm-hmm. they're not meant to understand because it, it, it it's your revelation yeah. so i just yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys and you also have to say alhamdulillah that allah gave you the hidayah to be able to see that way like he put it in your heart mm. to become muslim and to see things the way you see it um so yeah i actually um wanted to make this vlog about like how it is fasting and going through this journey like as a river um because we leave a lot of that out in our vlogs but obviously because you like to you very personal and private and whatever mm-hmm. but like just like the little things that you are able to share like for another river that's watching um or even somebody that just wants to get closer to Allah like um i think a nice thing to show is like how you learn to make salah like what you do um if you don't mind like later we'll show them like how and people think like that way is maybe not okay but it really helps it even helps me like you are going to find a lot of people saying it's not right you shouldn't do that i've i've picked up that um a lot of so called muslims um they we spoke about it this morning they have the idea like you do get a, a group of so called muslims who feel like they should tell other people how they should pray or how they should be muslim like and they think that is right whereby what you don't understand is that as a revert or somebody who wants to join or um become a muslim when you have an approach like that that you must do this you must say it like this or you must do it like that you create in me what i ref- what i would call a like a resistance like i i i i no longer want to participate in this or i wouldn't want to um learn more or you know ask questions because you coming at me like that you know it's like a parent who how do you put it you put it so nicely this morning it's like a parent telling don't do that shouting you or like, like um say for me a good example for me is like say i was going to wash up the dishes yeah. now my mother says You must wash up the dishes. Don't Stop being people. lazy. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then Asma be like, Yeah, I don't yes, do. it's exactly yeah. the same for any human being. If you if you come with an approach like that, mm-hmm. and I was like that at first. Like I was like, No, yeah, man. Uh, if this is how it's done, then I don't want to be part of this because now I'm looking at the person. Mm-hmm. It's difficult for me to look at the faith, the beauty of the religion, and luckily for me, I was surrounded by. you know people who made me look at the religion and not the people I, i was fortunate enough for that so i think it's also good that you experience people like that so that you can know the difference because once you tap into the religion itself and learn about it and find out things on your own sure yeah you find out amazing things I think the one thing that stands out for me the most is coming from a Christian background. Now that I'm a Muslim, the one mistake a lot of people do on both sides is that nobody ever talks about the similarities. Nobody ever sees the similarities like there's so many things that are this exactly the same. And if people should stop creating differences because it's not much different. you know um we believe what we believe um yeah i don't want to tap in a lot into that because you need to do your own research to actually know what i'm talking about but that's the one thing that stood out for me like every single person um i learned about in the bible as a child growing up all these people are in the quran they would they just name differently like i was stunned to find that out I'm thinking this is now nah, like Islam is a whole, total different religion with different gods and different prophets can't ya Simuni one thing 
but yeah so basically i just wanted to show did i not go too deep now <laughs> yeah no you didn't go too deep you just went off my point oh but i know where it came from because i said that people are gonna like judge and whatever but this is not for the people that's gonna judge this is gonna be for the people that like are actually um interested in your journey and even those that are on the journey that are clueless about where to start because you never know who this is gonna um reach so i just wanted to show them like how you learn like your way that you found worked for you so maybe like after market we can show them <laughs> yeah um i actually saw this revert on tiktok use the same videos as you did you see i sent it to you um he's from overseas he's from barbados is that how you say it huh? barbados well, but i don't know how to say it but anyway he's from that side um so he uses the exact same videos like you um so i just thought that was like kind of cool and i thought that would be a nice thing to add to the vlog but i'm yeah. going to go shower quickly you can speak um i'm going to go shower right <laughs> i'm going to go shower because you can finish this yeah and i'm going to shower because she said i stink my hair stinks so she couldn't cuddle with me last night because my hair stinks it only Can stings you just say it on the video no yeah, i want no. no it stings because of the products you gave me uh uh-uh. uh what products um, like oil. yeah yeah but immediately you need to wash your hair i do wash my hair and then i put your bloody things on this that is why it's nice though yeah it's meant for your hair what people say it's not meant for my hair that's why it has a different we have natural juices like everybody has we natural uh, yeah, our juices it smells like berries oils. oils whatever it smells like berries now i must wash your caucasian things off my head now Anyway guys so I'll see you in a bit um I have some washing up to do I did the washing um we just going to have food and puba so I took out some mints so I'm going to make mints and I'm going to attempt to make fake cook But the last time I came to my quick cook, I was following a YouTube recipe and it didn't work out. So now I got this easy mix from Spice Maker. So I'm gonna try it quickly and then I'll let you guys know how that went. What's the right word? Risen or rise? Risen. Is the intro on the iPhone? Yeah. Okay. Like that. The food is done.
guys so my fake look is done i kind of burnt this one so i opened this one to see how the inside looks and if it's right and it's quite soft how do i show with one hand if you can see it's actually super soft Seems like a job well done. <laughs> we'll see how it tastes later. I'll give you the proper review. So I used the smallest one to make like a mark. And it looks like jet guys. <laughs> what do you think? Comment down below. I can't wait to taste it. It's it's very small, but the rest are big. So I just used the smallie. Okay. <laughs> Guys, so it's just five minutes before Puka. Um, I did a little um, floor setup. Um, there's just dates and Puka, and then we're gonna go straight into um, our supper because I didn't make samosas and stuff because if we have samosas, we don't need food because we sell for. And I didn't want to waste, um, I was really craving the fake books, I thought, you know what, can we just do that? Um, Manuel said he's fine with that. And then I still have Booga from last night, because we booked by my mommy. So yeah, uh, before we close out the vlog, um, I'm going to show you guys the fake cook. It's not done now, it's still under there. And then um, I'm also going to show you guys the videos that Emmanuel uses to make Salah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so as promised, um, I asked Emmanuel if he could show you guys like what he, what he uses to um, help him pray, make Salah. Um, I even use it now because it's very helpful so i'll show you quickly so this is the videos what did you search just whatever prayer is accurate for the time like it was maghrib i searched maghrib but what i did was i saved all of them fajr the word asar maghrib isha the nice thing is, it will tell you that during Maghrib, two rakats is recited out aloud, and then one is recited silently, or the word all four is recited silently. Mm. Yeah, so I just follow what the guy says. So I literally say what he says, and I get to read. What, what did, I'm saying, yeah. so my tongue swells up every time I speak Arabic because it's <laughs> difficult to pronounce certain words, but I know what I'm saying, the yeah. translation of it, and that's the nice thing about but, it. But um, you're so good now because just from watching this, you can actually say the al Yeah. Um, and you also kind of know Surah Al Asr. I don't know which one is that, but the first it's, one. It's two surahs. The first one. Lam I mean, <laughs> that one. <laughs> that is the Akhid, second one. That's the second one. And then Surah Al Asr, he knows. Mm. Like you can actually, because I hear you say that. And then I was to stand behind him while um, he follows that. So, yeah. Okay, thanks for sharing. I know you don't like sharing stuff like this, but. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's personal. I don't like. But I think um, lots of people will I appreciate it. Show you guys. This is my first musla that I've ever received, and also my favorite. Almost a year ago. This was given to me by somebody who became my father, Uncle Rashid and his family in 2021. 
and um, yeah, he has since passed on about a year ago due to COVID. May Allah grant him Jana. Amen. Yeah, so every time I make salah, I'm just, I make sure. I and make every a, time you make salah, he gets that reward now. I remember he told me that when he was alive, so I have another musla that your mommy gave me, which I'm also keeping for special times. I used that one to make salah when we went to Jehovah. But this one is just, it means a lot to me because I know that um, he is being rewarded when I make salah and I make to offer him to be sitting right next to Allah as we speak. When I'm on this Muslim. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like sharing <laughs> these personal things. Because I don't feel like people should know that. Like, but yeah, I just told you guys now. Okay, thanks for sharing. So yeah, that's us. We are about to go tell them. eat. <laughs> yeah, tell, them, tell them what you're going for. We're going to somewhere now, tell them. No, okay. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished food cook. Emmanuel is trying to figure out if somebody acts his YouTube. <laughs> okay, here you go. Emmanuel eats it with the sauce. I eat it just like that. So that's mayo. Okay, say like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> That's Anala, it. Because... That's it. For what? <laughs> That's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Do you want to take the first bite on camera? This is what I'm saying. Like, share, and subscribe, Canala. Because this might be the last time you see. I'm joking. You cook nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, to make a fat cook. Is it nice? Is it right? I've never had it in my life. A fat cook? Yeah. I don't know how it's supposed to taste. Do you like it with the mayo and the dania sauce? This is how my grandmother makes it. You must send her a picture. <laughs>